Nico will be back just shortly. He's doing the little boys' room prior to uh, getting underway. I'm uh, in the middle of the flight on from Limerick and Mike India, the new Corvera airport, which is the replacement from Northia. Uh, back to my base, Leeds Bradford for Ryanair. I shall uh, fly Delta um, when I want to do the States. Good morning to you, Yorkie. Nick, Nick will be with us shortly. He's just popped off to the little boy's room. for the, uh, the late start there was a power issue down in South, South Africa well done you Fossey you, you're, you're clocking the hours up um, with Ryanair you can because it, it, it causes chaos I'm fine, thank you, you're okay. Never mind, suck it. Just suck it. You won't do it again. Nico did um, a, a, an interesting flight yesterday. He hit wind shear um, about 10 miles out. Eh? It sent him all over the place. So when you see all these uh, messages coming up saying that all sorts of things went wrong, it's another thing that you have to take into account was the, was the problem wind shear. Good morning, guys. Hey, John, thanks for holding the fort. I'm back. Um, Pleasure. Thanks for the, go the governor's back, guys. So here we go. <laughs> Governor. <laughs> Sounds good. Listen, okay, uh, I'm happy to see that you guys are having a nice big chat here. It sounds good and uh, welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Um, this is the same flight, yes, Yorkie, that um, I did yesterday. I'm going to do it on YouTube as well. 
I'm not expecting the same wind shear, although it would be really cool if we could have that again. And then um, I'm going to do my darndest best to land this bird properly without the bounce uh, this time. So we now know that we have to look out for the, um, what do you call it, the dip in the runway that we need to pass the dip we well, can't there's a crown isn't there initially there's a crown that yeah. you have to get over then you go into the dip uh the okay My God. about the uh the pianos yes yeah yeah the 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 dip is actually by the pianos the crowns first then you have the dip by the pianos and then it crowns again you know that second one is the one that got me that gave me the two very hard landings because i'm obviously judging on what i initially see in my perspective you know and then whack it whacks me that second one so we're going to try do it better okay john can you still hear me are you okay i can indeed sir all right. Um, I did not notice until just now that Explain didn't see my controllers, and I sat here listening now and talking, and I noticed there's a crosshair there on my aircraft, so I had to unplug the USBs and replug them. So. The fingers right. crossed. All good now. Yeah, all good. All good. Okay. So, without further ado, everybody's busy doing their thing now let's just start our services first should have started that already all right lights let there be light Hope you're all having a good weekend to those in the UK. Obviously, it's holiday weekend, so you've got plenty of time to get some flying in, providing the other half doesn't uh, pitch. Hmm, no, absolutely. Lima, Papa, Foxtrot, Romeo, Airport Information, Echo, zero, eight, zero, zero, Zulu, Weather, Wind, zero, seven, two, at, one, two, Visibility, one, zero, thousand, Sky Condition, one, thousand, one, hundred, Scattered, Temperature, two, zero, two point, one, six, Q and H, one, zero, one, five, Advise on initial contact, you have information, Echo. Oh, that's fairly consistent, it was one, zero, one, five yesterday as well. Um, Lima, Papa, nine on Romeo, the airport arrival. information, Echo, zero, eight. Right, seven minutes to align time, and that gives us plenty of time to go through all the rest. Are you logging this flight or not? No, sir. No, this is just, just us boys having some fun today. You can indeed, Fossil. That's, um, that's a fair affirmative. Yes, y you can, but that, that still does not guarantee that you're going to get the wind shear at exactly the same time at exactly the same place. So, um, I, I have used historical weather, and if you guys follow me on my P3D tour, you will see that um, when we get not so good weather, um, I also use historical weather, uh, just to have some real weather. Uh, but but uh, there's no guarantee we're gonna get the same wind shear at the same place so I'm not gonna waste too much time with that if we look at the current weather it actually looks fair enough for us to just fly and enjoy ourselves the only difference between this flight and yesterday is we're going to take off from the opposite side so we're going to take off from that side instead of uh, you know behind me well said fossil <laughs> we, don't, we, don't put up, we don't put up with bad language on here. <laughs> I'll beep myself. Okay, so when I fly the beep simulator, um, there's there's only one reason I do that, and that's for the Orbex scenery. You know, I've invested all the money in Orbex over many years, and I don't really enjoy the investment. And I did the same tour approximately uh, same time last 
year where I flew south uh, from uh, Juneau all the way down to San Francisco and a year later I've decided now I'm going to fly back um, uh, and that's where the, that old tour comes from so. unfortunately we don't have all those airports in uh, in x uh, you know, otherwise we could have done it in x -Plate. So I'm just going to show you guys what I do um, with the power outage earlier and, and stuff here at home I never had a chance to actually do all my preparation so now you're going to see what I do as well um, and one thing I want to point out to you guys is this OFP was modified yesterday so if you are using PFPX and you are using the old Skymatics uh, flight plan template you can get the latest one, the version 2, it's in my OneDrive, uh, or private hangar, whatever you want to call it, um, and the link is in the video description below the stream. And um, I've, I've redesigned the fuel planning portion of it, I'll show you guys just now, just to make it easier and to show you all the hidden information, because yesterday morning I was sitting reading through it and I, I realized that there are a couple of things hidden. You still get the same values. There's nothing wrong with the old OFP, but it didn't show you all the values. So I changed a few things. I'll explain just now. Okay, so I just want to change this cursor. Right, so the one thing when you use PFPX that my previous OFP didn't show you was the hold fuel. If you actually allocating any fuel for holding, um, it was never mentioned. All right, so I've added that to be displayed now. Uh, I've changed this line to actually give us the minimum takeoff fuel required for the flight. So instead of having, um, you know, the block fuel in there, that has changed. And then something else I've added is we always put a little bit of extra fuel in there at captain's discretion. So that extra fuel was also hidden. It was not visible on the previous OFP. And I decided, hey, why not just show the people? And another thing that I did an upgrade on because the way it was displaying was wrong, okay, is the taxi fuel. So I did some research that part of the flights yesterday was trying to figure out uh, fuel usage and things like that so taxi fuel has been fixed all right because it didn't show any value there where it says 120 that value didn't appear or it was a different value anyway so it was wrong uh, that got fixed um, our takeoff fuel which is also um, you know important is now in there one thing i am struggling with is the actual rounding it seems that that the PFPX rounding and the Simbrief rounding and the actual Zebo rounding are three different things. So it's creating a bit of a pain for me, but I am going to sort it out. I will find a way of sorting it out. If we if we look for instance here at the takeoff field, that is supposed to be the block field, but when you look at the actual block field, it now says 7.4. So that is more than likely 7351 kilograms and just because of that one number it's now chucking it over to 7.4 now when when we look at these values we obviously want to reproduce them um, in our tablet so if we if we start adding these things in here uh, let's go down quickly where is this uh, block fill we say 7.4 Look at the actual payload at 18.3. We're supposed to get a takeoff value of 67.1, which is perfect. So that brings us back to this OFP and me scratching my head because 
why is there a discrepancy there and there? That's something I still I, I will still figure out. So maybe don't, don't download the thing yet. You, you're welcome to anyway, but uh, it's still things like it's small little things like this that I'm just too much of a perfectionist to just let go. So we'll figure it out as we go. On. Right. So in terms of our loading, uh, let's go back down to that page. Market out so we know we are talking the same thing. Payload, fuel, and take off weight. Right, 67. Good morning, Johan. What are you on? Right, so there you can see 67.1, 67.1. So it's it's not wrong, but the way it displays is bugging me. If that makes sense to you guys. And being the perfectionist, I'll I'll, I'll figure it out when we get there. Alright, then for the argument for the guys that don't want to use the. Oh, come on. I hate this mouse. I know I'm going to buy a new one. Right, if, um, if you look at the final reserves, what it suggests and what I actually use, I use the final reserves of 1.2 over there. That's all subjective. It's it's a matter of opinion, uh, and it depends on your SOP. So don't let that catch you. You can use either one of the values. Um, I just don't like to see a fuel warning when it's not you yet. So that's why I use that one. All right. So we are taking runway ten onto runway thirty-five today. Round to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready.
just loading my flight plan um, Active Sky quickly. Adam, if you use a proper flight planner, it will tell you. So I'll show you just now a quick suggestion. Give me a second. I just want to get the information uh, required into Active Sky and then I'll be with you. You enjoy. Enjoy fossil. Hi George. Right, Adam, so have a look at this. Um, this is where we do our flight planning. And basically what happens is when we go to our fuel policies, number one, we use the IKO policy. Uh, we usually fly IKO-based countries, not FAA. So that says that you need to have half an hour extra fuel to do uh, a circuit altitude, uh, 1,500. Uh, feet out um, in the circuit for a uh, half an hour at your alternate all right it's a bit of a mouthful but that's what it is so that will give you extra fuel already then what i do is i add extra 15 minutes and i also add a whole time of 30 minutes especially when i fly online this is important when you're flying to london uk or a busy airport you can sometimes even hold longer so that's very important to have that once that is in your flight planner will then add the rest of the values for you so you need to just learn how to use your flight planner appropriately and then implement you know which flight planner are you using Hey George, okay, no, that's fine. Um, enjoy whatever you do out of town. We'll check you later. Right, okay, so that takes care of that. Adam, which flight planner are you using?
Bye. Just like that, he's gone. Poof, gone. The fish are awaiting him. Looks like it. Adjust vertical speed. Adjust. Climb. Climb now. Climb. Climb now. Climb. Crossing. Climb. We're having a coffee climb. before crossing. we get on the way. Climb. Okay. Climb. climb. Clear of conflict. Descend. 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 Crossing. Descend. Descend. Crossing. Descend. Descend. Descend now. Descend. Descend now. Increase. Climb. Increase. Climb. Increase descent. Increase descent. Maintain vertical speed. Maintain. Main. Ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck, welcome aboard our flight today. We're wrapping up the final paperwork here. Should get you on your way momentarily. I want to thank you so much for your company and business. We invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Again, welcome aboard. Right, so we're just closing the doors here and we'll bid these other guys farewell for now. Hey Paul, good morning. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Let's grab our list. Ah, 
Uh, Yoki, no idea. My screenshots still don't work. Uh, in fact, let me check now because it seems they, they sometimes work and sometimes don't. And that's what makes it so difficult to figure out. Let's have a look, see. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I've configured my V button so that um, I can at least get a screenshot if I really need one from Xplane itself. But Shadow play mm -mm, just doesn't want to give it to me. Oh, and the doggies are going crazy again. I'm just going to mute myself a minute. That's a very sore point, Yorkie. Yeah, I cannot tell you how hot so I am because of it. Because, I mean, for so many years it just worked. And then one night for it just to decide it's not working. And I can't figure it out. It's driving me almost insane. Almost. Not quite there yet, but damn it. <laughs> Little Pomeranians, they wish they were Rottweilers. I tell you what, if these guys were Rottweilers, uh, <laughs> we would have had a problem because their fighting spirit is like, like that of a lion. Trust me, he's a killer. Yeah. Right, okay, so that means we are all sorted and we can go. Alright, so tail is going right, engine one starts first today. Bless you, you okay? Same, thank you, man. Ryan, everything is fine. Thank you so much for asking. How are you doing on your side? It'd be a lot happier if you found out why his screenshots don't work. <laughs> Look what Johan says. No, I actually don't. I don't even bother. Um, John is live on Discord with me. If I start shouting and going crazy, he's going to get it. So I don't want to spoil his day by shouting and swearing in his ears. Sounds good, Ryan. Absolutely. Family are precious. Well, welcome back. I'm uh, hoping you're going to enjoy the stream. My nerves will start to speak to me when we get close to that landing because this will be the fourth attempt. Um, one in three was very good. Two was a hell of a learning curve. And even the last one that was good was accompanied by some massive wind shear that I needed to counter, which was fun. Um, but we're hoping for a, a, a better try today. Let's be optimistic. Of course, and even Operation if um, set break. even if there is something, we will just handle it like good pilots. Do. Stand by.
Right, so we're going to do flaps 5. This is a rather short runway. We can actually do flaps 10 if we really want to, but we'll make it fun. Paul, you, you feel free. If you want to say something, say it. Yeah, my friend, oh, please, please, please. Um, if you want to, to check out the fun that we had without you, uh, it's all on my Twitch channel for a couple of days, so the videos are there. Uh, and you'll see it's not you, my friend, really. Um, Paul, the, the only exclusions are profanities and the word P3D. Right, flaps five and we have green lights, so that's all in place. You can pull the pin and go stand one side, please. Ryan, remind me somewhere in the flight. I'm using FSN Answer for the textures, and that's about it, to be quite honest. So all you need to do is search FSN Answer. I don't use the FSN Answer Lua scripts at all, so um, it's literally just the textures. And of course, he's using Active Sky. Yes. Along with Ortho for the for the graphics. When you get home, on, you'll see. Yeah. Oh, and I use uh, the Vivid preset for X-Vision. That's all. Take the 172 and just go and do circuits. That'll get you in the mood for something else again. Morning Nico, morning John. Good morning to you David. No, it's not David, it's Johan. Oh, how are you doing? Oh, it's Johan. I do apologise. I'm watching the screen as opposed to going into Discord. All good, Johan. All good. How are you doing? Morning, Nico. Morning, John. Okay, the cabin is secure. Are we Have a good flight. Can you hear us? Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can hear you. Guys, as always, um, I actually remembered this morning to put the scenery links in the video description as well. So if you're looking for the scenery, it's there. All free from the orc.
approaching one zero. Alright, so they say we're expecting a 12 knot wind here on takeoff, so let's see what it does to us. There's an average, something like 95 feet. Yeah, I didn't. Um, and then obviously we just need to wait until all the gear lights go off and then we put it in the off position so we don't need out our hydraulics. And then make sure what we else? switch our water brakes off as well. Alright, so that job is used up. Go away. That's a rather nice takeoff. Yesterday, at some point, I had to hold on for dear life. The turbulence was crazy on takeoff. You were the right crosswind yesterday. Not so much. It was slightly from the side, but the gusting was really out of this world. It was something to you know, contend with. I'll get it sorted. I've tried it with administrative rights, without administrative rights, with so many different key combinations. It's not funny. I even tried a different keyboard, thinking maybe my print screen button was broken on this keyboard. Stop. No dice. Just didn't work. There's a little switch somewhere that needs sorting. Is there anyone else that doesn't use control print screen to do, to do um, a copy of the screenshot? Active Sky. Active Sky, as John said, it's the answer. If you don't want to spend money, get the NOAA weather plugin. That doesn't work for me, Yorkie. Shift and spacebar is the built-in explain one. That's where I've got the V key. But every time I press it, this thing takes a breath. You know, it freezes the screen, then takes the screenshot, and then releases it again. I mean, you should be able to see on stream, 
you know, every time the system freezes, and that, that, that bugs me, I can't work like that. Beautiful. My God. strange. <clears throat> Yoki, I was sitting here wondering if it is not a Zebo problem yesterday, to be quite honest. Um, I'm going to investigate that further because if you've got the same feeling that I've got, maybe there's some, some merit in it. Hey, Janet. Have fair sex. Get up and laugh. It's all cause he got no sir. This is explain. Escobar was here again. No, there was no call for him this morning. No, no, it's um, because I was on the outside. Just as I came back into the aircraft, I heard the last remnants of the call. It sounded like it anyway. He is a legend.
Well, this is a rather short flight. I mean, the stop of descent already showing. It's just over 80 miles, I think. From top of climb to top of descent is about 90, I think, plus minus. About 12 minutes in the cruise. Virtual Corsica, if you're still online, uh, there's no need to delete your comments, sir. Um, you're welcome to ask and you're welcome to share your stories with us. Uh, don't be shy, eh? Really don't be shy. That green line is from a VOR, but it's just because of my settings that I'm currently using. It's got nothing to do with any flight planning or this flight or anything. It just happened to be the same frequency. That's the that's it. So. no difference but it's not on don't worry about it it's not the end of the world guys it's just there it's by chance I don't know. Let's have a look see. Yeah, yeah it does. It's obviously because it's been tuned in, so it's just one of those things. That's it. Gonna have to get you a soft cushion for that seat, Nico. That's Nico. Uh, I'm sitting on a nice soft cushion. So we at top of climb now. Ladies and gentlemen, once again from the uh, flight deck, we've level off now under freezing altitude. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the fasten the seatbelt sign. I'd like to carefully ask if you are staying in your seats to keep those seatbelts comfortably fastened for your safety. Onboard computer shard and on time arrival, no ATC delays either. We're going to stay quiet up here, have you enjoy the uh, flight and the service. Once again, welcome aboard. 
Oh, Paul, you, you should be able to on a VOR approach. You just don't get your vertical navigation, but lateral is there. Don't let him go to sleep, guys. If you've got questions, ask him. Oh, uh, this is a short part. I went for sleep. Yeah, I need to quickly set up the descent. But thank you for that. I'll go at 4. A deviation calculator. Where are you? Right. Oh, this movement in this cockpit is hectic. This one, I think I've got the knob, I don't know. Man. There we go. So we're doing an ordinary approach, and I'm going to go down to 300. Right. Rottweilers at it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, we'll on the speed brakes, we'll set up the brake one. Brake I'm going to use with the brake two because we're going to jump over the piano bars when we land. So, see if we can stop soon enough. Right, that takes care of all of that.
Okay, now we can just relax. Now you can bombard me with all your questions and suggestions and thoughts. Go for it, guys. Bombard him. Or you can just tell me how, how nice a weekend you're having, you know? Anything. Let's get some conversation going while we're sitting in the boarding phase of the flight. I'm sitting here thinking about Paul's VOR question. I did a landing the other day, it was somewhere somewhere on the Spanish coast, uh, I think. I can't remember which airport it was. It, um, the, the one airport actually had a VOR approach, where you have to use the VOR and then take in the radio uh, to actually land. I, I wish I could remember so I could show in. Excellent, Yoki. Ah, you're gonna like it. You're gonna really love it. Which which version have you got, Yoki? It's probably 1.3 if he wants to watch my video. So Roger. Um, Paul, what happened was I was flying for virtual Ryanair and on the landing, the first landing, as I came in I noticed there was like a dip in the runway elevation. That's obviously because the runway follows the terrain contour. And I didn't compensate fast enough for the problem so what happened was as the dip passes by underneath the aircraft obviously the next section is now elevated on the runway again and I actually landed quite hard and I kicked myself and I said no, I need to do it again second time it happened again believe it or not um, I still misjudged that dip and landed hard again now obviously you can't file your, your pirate with the BA if it's outside of an uh, you know, acceptable parameter. So it was over 500 foot and then it goes for validation and they either accept it or not. So I don't want, want to even bother with that. And then eventually I did the third time and we were talking actively about it, about landing deeper and missing that whole sink and lift in, in the elevation. And when I did that, two things happen about 10 miles out we got wind shear the wind shear really knocked me off course it it took me for a ball you know it was playing with this aircraft like it was a feather and I had to take control then switch the autopilot off and actually hand fly the aircraft in and on the landing I missed the dip but then I bounced so in my perfectionist little mind um, that's not acceptable and that, that's why I, why I said to John this morning I'm going to do this flight again and then I'm going to try and hope that there's no wind shear and that I actually get to land properly so that's where we're at with that whole story but it's on Twitch you can go have a look uh, the video is there before he closes on that subject he's going on about a bounce we're talking about a 4 to 6 inch bounce <laughs> that's all it was and he's splitting airs to the point that he's got to do it again. Yeah, 46 inches. Um, I know it's not the end of the world, but anyway, thank you for your support, John. I appreciate that. It was that minor. We had to look at it, I think, three times just to confirm it was a bounce. <laughs> Oh, wow. 
Paul, Paul then goes without saying, we know you're here. Morning, Kevin. Morning, Kevin. Uh, Paul, you're 100% correct, it does. It does. The same goes for when you're flying a little Cessna and you li land on a very wide runway. It's all stuff that you need to learn to compensate for. Um, Johan, I haven't thought about that. Let's have a look. exactly which page it is, I'll just quickly run through them. Hey George. I'm not seeing it, I um, might be reading straight over it, let's have a look again. Ah. Okay, we'll give it a shot, let's see, um, see what difference it makes. Yeah, all good here, yeah, thank you so much.
24 nautical miles from top of descent. I better pull back on my throttles now. So we don't have that anomaly again. My physical throttle seems to be interfering with the Zebo, so I'll just pull back on it quick. And then VNAV works, believe me, it really works very well. from the uh, flight deck, we've suffered a descent, should have you in the ground in about 15 minutes. Want to thank you so much for your company and business, and hope to see you again with us sometime very soon. Timing's good, Nico. I'm 34 minutes out, so I'll be okay by the time you land. Okay.
Well, I'm checking active sky so far. No wind shear warning. Uh, all good. But on the active sky map, you saw that picture, all the pictures I gave you yesterday, it does pop up, so it might take a while to generate or something. I don't know. So far, there's nothing on the radar scan. Let's put it that way. brakes on my spend in for a bit. Same here. Also, most of the stuff that is on special is already in my system, so I don't need to purchase them a second time. Well, I've got the 5.7, I've got the 6.7, I can't remember the last time I used them. I'm addicted. Zebo. Trust me, it's a lot cheaper than flying for real.
Uh, Johan, no, it's not the it's not the ground speed that I mean ground speed is currently two one six. If you subtract two one six from two oh eight or two twenty six, either way you're gonna get into the negatives. It's not the difference. There are other calculations, I just don't know them off board. Yeah, that's that sounds better. Actual versus measured, yeah. Sounds better. Alright, 10 nautical miles to go for us. No wind sheet, the wind shear warning here, so everything looks calm. The reported winds are 0, 040 0 at 6 knots, so it's just about calm. Like a hawk, governor. Mm. Yeah, I can imagine. You've got ten buddies uh, yeah, on stream putting fresh on, so all good. I've got the runway in sight. I might manage from top of descent. Okay. Right, auto brake, speed brake, uh, get down. Lapse Approaching three, five. Minimums. All eyes 
Spanish Guy can Yeah, that's better, 179. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Ah, oh, damn, just missed that turn off. We'll go be good boys and... There's plenty more. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, John. Well, just got done like good children at Caution. the end of the Short line. Runway. Short runway, 4,000 feet remaining. That six not wind. You can say what you want. Freaking explain. You feel it. This is this is awesome. And for those of you that haven't kept tabs on P3D, I want to tell you something. I'm not sure whether it's P3D with their latest update, or more than likely rather Active Sky with their latest update for P3D. But we now get the same winds and physics uh, response um, on wind in P3D and that was a, a very nice surprise that I found in the week um, whoever did what did a good job with the latest two updates whether it's Active Sky or P3D um, all of a sudden we have got to think about the wind there as well where in the past it wasn't that big a factor no he's not flying right now <laughs> <today>. I am <laughs> yeah I just noticed that you one You know, um, it, it actually points to the experience. You know, practice makes perfect, I suppose. It's a All better way of explaining one, it. Because seven. it took two very hard landings and a bounce to get me to do it as proper as, as this way, you know. And um, somebody made a comment yesterday, it's because I flew too much P3D in the week. You know, um, that could possibly also have an influence. But I can tell you one thing, nothing beats experience. So even if you are struggling with something, just keep at it. At some point in time, you're going to break through and you're going to get the right um, experience and it's going to just happen. And you'll be okay. I'm really struggling to start the APU all of a sudden. In the last two updates, it's like I've got to try three times at least before it actually starts. It's after you and me complained. You see, then they went and worked on the code. There um, you go. Yeah. Other than that, I want to tell you something. I just don't see why people can fault this plane or why they can't fly it. Uh, it doesn't make sense. It really works well. Wow. And welcome to Porto, by the way, guys. I'm just going to pull off the runway here and then we're going to watch the replay. Alright, let's see what happened. Take your binoculars away, you 
don't need to check to see if you had a bounce, you was perfect. I know, I know, this time it didn't give me any indication that there was a bounce. Yay! Yes, on to Paul. Yay! Thank you, Paul. You still scare the hell out of me every time you you watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Yuan, I don't know. I haven't kept tabs on the uh, updates exactly what is done. I know Zebo fixed up some code there for the um, anti-ice, uh, but I haven't seen the last couple of non-public uh, change logs, so I don't know. Oh, that was loud. If I suddenly disappear, Nico, it's because I'm getting ready to get into Leeds Bradford. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, guys, see the, the whole runway. It starts high, then it dips. This whole black area, and then it's like... It lifts. This is not a good angle to see it, but it's like the whole elevation changes there at one spot. There's one big dip there. There's a bit of a bounce, a little hill over there. And this is not not good to land on the piano bars on this runway when you've got the terrain contour on. Oh, I think that's very nice. Very, very nice. All right, gentlemen, so uh, the next plan for this evening's flight is going to be South America. We're going to fly one of Angel Alpeca's um, airports. He's shown me what the work was that he did. It's been accepted by the x Gateway, so it's part of x now. And um, then there's also a guy that did some work on top of that, and I'll see which side of things we're going to actually look at but nonetheless we're going to fly in South America later this evening so you guys are welcome to join me if everything works out and the family does not intervene in some way I shall be on my post again at 5 um, what's at 5 p.m. no let's let's use proper way of saying it it's going to be 1700 Zulu Right, so if you guys are interested, you're welcome to join us then again. Uh, I haven't flown that route. I have no idea what waits for me, so it's going to be a bit of a challenge. We could quite possibly have a good laugh with each other again. We'll see. Right, guys, I'm going to bid you all a uh, good day, good weekend, and I'll talk to you in a bit, Nico. 100%. Okay, bye, John. Uh, I also on my way. Okay, bye, Nico. Thanks for the stream. All right, cool. Bye, man. Bye. And this will be my last replay, guys. So if you want to ask questions or talk with me, get your uh, text into the box there. Let's see. Otherwise, this is going to be the last bit, and we'll say bye bye. Bye, Yoki. Thank you.
always a pleasure guys and it's awesome having you guys here so always remember that as well and that's it up from me so you guys be good enjoy whatever it is that you're going to do over the weekend and we'll talk next stream bye bye Oh yes, and thank you Ruben for the subscription. Bye bye.